Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 14 of Sink Into Madness, a mod pack by John Bam and M1 Jordan Allen. So I finally finished closing the mob farm, and I derped and died a couple of times, seeing, seeing that it, I'm really good at derping and dying. First I forgot some torch, and then I forgot to old shift while on vector plate. So if there's one thing I can tell you, the mob masher is working very, very, very well. Because it mob mashed me into death super fast. But now, look at this. This mob farm is amazing. And that's only with 5 mob masher upgrade. 5 uh, looting, sorry. You can get 10 of each, so I'm going to want some beheading because I'm going to start... I'm going to start needing some heads. And I'm going to need a way to store all of that XP that I'm losing. So first of all, let's look into a couple of mob... Oh, first of all, let's hide... <sighs> How to start on a strong note. Event and almost dead. But at least I'm well protected now. So I'll just wait in my little room. Derp. So... I really need to redesign my base. I've done some research and it seems that when I'm in 8x8 or 9x9 that the mobs are not able to uh, spawn that close to you. So if I close my base and make it much smaller and have like a tower kind of thing, it's going to work much better. Unfortunately, I don't have any juice on me, although I say that... Can I break this? I'm just trying to see if I can get to... Oh, yes. I should have probably done that since the beginning. And sorry for the noise. I know it's very noisy. But I like hearing the mob in this, mob pa in this pack. Perfect. So, let's just wait a little bit for it to calm down. I say that, but it's so noisy. Uh, my guns are not shooting anymore. Now I'm kind of worried. Oh! They're shooting it. Okay, so that was very strange. I seem to only have one that's shooting, though. Which is not good. Whoa! Okay, I completely forgot. The thing with these mobs is that they shoot uh, some kind of spike. Which is why I got hurt immediately. So, how can I do this? Oh, boy. Well, they're dying slowly, so I might as well just wait. Oh, God. I'm just going to have to wait a little bit. I don't know why I can't hit them from here. It's crazy. I should be able to hit these mobs. I'm just going to have to wait a little bit for them to die. You see that they are dying anyway. Oh. And yes. I mean, that's how you survive an event. So see these quill? That's what they shoot at you. Like this. And it really hurts. So let's put these in here and we can continue. So like I said, the uh, mob masher is doing really well. Derp a lot though. I made this whole power conduit going way down to it. And I had kind of forgotten that the mob masher doesn't take power. So guys, don't make the same mistake I did. You don't need power to it. It's not a complete loss though, because I'm going to need these conduit to power up my automation. So I'd like some sharpness, but I'm not going to invest in that right now. I'm for sure going to get some lo uh, some looting. I need some lapis. Lapis, yeah. So let's break down that lapis. I want to get the five extra looting that I need because looting is good. It makes the mob masher drop more um, more loot, which is always good. Then I'm also going to need, let's look again, mob masher. I want some beheading. And the reason I want some beheading is that I need to start getting some head to do my farming station. So let's do one, two, one two, three, four, five, six, and these one, one, two, 
three, four, five, six. That's a lot of my gold, but needs to get done. So that's three right there. Do you have some more gold? I should probably have more gold now. Yeah, three of the nether and 20 of those. So I'm going to put the nether to cook in here. Oh, let's put that first. And how much do I need? I need four each, so that's enough. Let's put this in here to get the gold going. And let's put the gold in there. The reason I want to put the gold in there is that every nether ore gives two. So that's six that I can put back in here. And let's just continue with my crafting. So mob masher again. I want the looting. I need five more looting. Uh, one, two, three. So that's one, two. Oh, I'm out of the small gold. That's easy enough to fix. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, why don't they stack up? This is kind of... Oh, it was a weird click issue with my mouse. Okay, so now I can go put all of that in the mob masher downstairs to start producing as much drop as... Oh, what are you? Oh, an eye of ender. Don't, don't care. It's not that important. So you see how this creeper is not being attracted? And the reason it's not being attracted is that when it feels a player close enough, it just walks fast toward that player. It's as if it's magic. So now with 10 uh, looting upgrade, we're going to be able to start getting a lot of loot. I even wonder if this is going to empty fast enough. But with the beheading, we're going to start to get some heads, which is very important for the farming. I want to upgrade it a little bit more, but until I get some more gold, it's kind of something that I have to be patient. I'm going to put some gold in here, and we're going to start looking at automation. So when we crafted this whole easy storage, we added an input port. Now I want some extraction port. Extraction port. The extraction port are made out of an input port. So let's look at what I have. I'm missing basically some hoppers. I want two extraction port for now. Let's craft three more hopper. Oh, that was perfect. I need some redstone comparator. I'm going to need uh, f uh, four. So I need four times three, 12 of these redstone torch. So let's craft these 12. And perfect. And now let's craft these one, two, three, four. And we should be able to now craft. No, I still need the input port. Oh, the input port is a lot more expensive than I remembered. Oh, well, I need to do them. It's something that I really required. So I need one, two, three, four out of wood. I sure hope that wood's not going to be my biggest problem because that would be ridiculous. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Now I need some. I need some more chest. Let's craft four more chests because I need how many upper? Oh, I need six more upper. And now I'm out of iron. Great. So let's go to process some iron. It's a. Those are very expensive recipes. In case you didn't notice, but this is what's going to get all of my automation on going. Just so that you guys understand what I want to get going is. I want to have one extraction to auto process ores that must cook so that they would go into the sag mill and then and then the alloy smelter and I want a second extraction for just pure um, breaking down like the uh, redstone and or oh I have all of this pulverized iron should probably put that to cooking instead of wasting my time so let's put that all to cooking and let's see, oh, that's why it was out of power. I need to make sure to always keep these recharged. Every time I have an event, it's really dangerous if I don't have the good protection. And that's something I really recommend that you put in every level of your base. The other good advantage of doing a nine by nine, I figured, is that this has a range of 10, which means that by doing a nine by nine, it will always be within reach of anything that's in your turret. The other thing that's good is that we don't have a problem with uh, Ender Pearl in this mod pack. So we're going to be able to craft some elevators. 
which is going to make the going in between level much easier. While we're here, heads, perfect. Look at that, five Enderman skull, eight creeper head, 11 zombie head. And what about the skull and some skeleton skull? Oh, already a wither skeleton skull. So perfect. We finally have what we need to start doing farming. Because you remember, every time I break these, there's a chance of spawning something. But the spawn is only for player breaking. So in case you don't understand how amazing that is, it means that I'm going to be able to get as much resource as I want from these seeds without ever having the chance of something spawning. So let's put that back in here and let's continue with the extractors. Uh, extr extraction port. Perfect. So now I need a couple more uppers and let's start doing the input. So I need what am I missing again? Uh, oh, the block of quartz. I'm going to need two blocks of quartz. One, two. So let's craft the first input port. And again, the second input. I need some blank blocks, of course. The second input port, like so. And now I can do the extraction. One. And I'm out of hoppers. Great. So now doing some more hoppers. Oh, this is really expensive, but it's what is setting us up to start crafting everything that we need. Perfect. Now let me show you how these extraction port works. I'm gonna break down these two tables right here. I'm gonna break that down. So you put the extraction port attached to the system. You know what? I'm gonna put them a bit further away just to give us some room to expand. So one here and one here. And then you can set what you want to extract. So let's look at the ores. Ores. I need ores that cook. So I want some iron ore. I want some gold ore. I want some lead ore. Silver ore. Aluminum ore. And of course yellowite ore. What else cooks? No, no. Iridium, I don't care. Platinum, I don't care. Nickel, I don't care. Tin, I do care. So let's start with that. Then I want the ore that only breaks down. So basically, redstone ore, emerald ore, uh, lapis. So the iridium, I'm at least going to break down, but I'm not going to cook. Coal ore, platinum ore, same thing. I'm going to break, but not cook. Nickel ore, gonna break but not cook, and so that's it. So now you get to come in here and say whitelist and say, on this one, I want to whitelist everything that's um, cooking. So like so. And it's good because they have their own filter on. And this one, everything, uh, whitelist again, everything that just breaks down. Like so. And this. Perfect. I don't need this anymore. Let's throw it back in. Now I'm going to need some conduits. Item conduit. And we're going to set these conduit here and here. What we're going to do is we're going to set this one to extract on brown and this one to extract on blue. And now we can start grabbing the machines that we need. So let's come right back here. I'm going to empty all of this. I'm going to wait for it to finish processing though. And we can start setting up the machine that we want. So that's good. Let's grab this one. And that one's ready. So let's grab that one. So this one's going to be the cooking and processing. So we take the sag mill that I'm going to put right here and the alloy smelter right under. So this one's going to be set up to push down. This one's going to set up to pull from up, up. And this one's going to be set up to pull from that side. And from that side, what level did I put here? Blue. So I'm going to set this one on insert blue. Uh, let's make this one active and it should start feeding stuff. Yes. So now everything's coming into here. And as it's receiving it, it's going to break it down. 
It's going to break it down, and as it breaks it down, it's going to push it in here to cook. So, perfect. That's the first step. I need a second sag mill. The thing is, I don't know if I can craft a second sag mill. Let's just see quickly if it's something I can do. Can I make this? Oh, I probably can make a second sag mill. I need copper. Let's grab all of this copper and... Where should I put it to cook? Ooh, some coal. That's always good. This is annoying. Here you go. Ooh, I almost died. That was not a smart idea. I'm not looking at my elf as much as I should. Which is a question I wanted to ask you guys. I've never thought of doing something like that before. But it came... Uh, I just had this idea of maybe doing a season 2. What I mean by that is that I would probably continue this one a bit less regularly but with more time lapse and start a season 2 where I use everything that I learn to do everything better and to try not to die. Uh, so let me know in the comments what you think about that. Because this mod pack is supposed to be played on hardcore and you're not supposed to die. And I would like not dying. I, I feel that it's impossible, but at the same time, if I don't try, it is impossible. And now that I know so much more, I feel like I have a better chance of achieving this. So and I'm doing this also because this one is insert on green. So what I want to do also is I want to set this one to extract on green always active and use this from this side to push to be able to put back in our system and perfect so let's go back here and now I should have my copper which means that I should be able to work on my second sag mill so this one let's craft one basic capacitor let's craft a machine frame and can I make the sag mill now and yes I can make the second sag mill I'm going to put the second sag mill right here. And this one was, what, extract on brown. So I'm going to put this one to uh, insert on brown and extract on green, always active. And I'm going to put this sa side to, oh, not you. I'm going to put this side to push and pull, like so. And I'm going to put this side to start extracting. And as you can see, it's already extracting my resources. So let's put all of this back in here. Like so. So now I have perfect processing of resource. I just need to bring the power. As you can see, I have lava going down this side, but I don't have lava going down that side. So what I was thinking is, like I told you guys, I wanted to make another lava generator. So let's look into the second lava generator and it's not that expensive so there's no reason not to do oh no reason not to do it so I got, I'm gonna need a block of redstone and I'm going to need a furnace like so and then I get the second perfect and I also want to make another tank an ender IO tank to receive the lava so one like this, and now I can do the same setup I did on this side, I can repeat on that side. Go like this, and this time I'm going to be putting this on top. So this is filling, and I can put it to extract, oh, no, sorry, pull, push in here. Perfect. And then I can use my cables, my useless cables that I did for no reason to bring back to that those other machine. Uh, let's go. Not going to take that one out because I don't want to risk something coming in through there. Let's just see if that's enough range. So, like so. Yes, that's barely enough. That's with one cable to spare. So now I have power coming into it, and this is 20 RF per tick, this one's 20 RF per tick, and this one's using 60 RF per tick. So I'm not producing enough power to be able to put a double layer capacitor in each of those. So I'm going to leave it at that for now, which means not as fast, but we're getting to the point where I'm going to be able to make better power soon. And it's all in the strategy of not waiting for the pack steps. 
because now by doing this I'm at least taking care of my resources as they come in it's gonna take a while to catch up but things are going if I look into ingot here I'm gonna start getting more and more ingot so let me just see what am I breaking down right now I'm breaking breaking down iron in here so let me grab all of the iron I haven't finished processing Oh, not you. And I want these four iron powder that are different, and I'm not quite sure why they are different. Just wait for them to cook. And perfect. The reason I'm putting the double layer capacitor in here instead of in this one is that, as you see, this breaks down into iron, nickel, and cobblestone. So by this one working faster, it should be able to cook whatever we break down and the secondary drops all the time or at least fast enough that it's good. Wow, this is, I don't know where these uh, Endermen keeps coming from. I gotta make sure to keep these guns recharged. Um, perfect, then, oh, the lead ore be came from the Endermen. So now, now at least, I have resource pouring in from my mob farm and it's being processed. The next step, is the farm and that's all automation I should have done before so I want a farming station and what had stopped us last time with the farming station is that I needed a Z-Logic controller and that comes from the slice and splice did I ever finish making the slice and splice? no so I need to make the slice and splice and I think that the reason I didn't make the slice and splice was that I was missing a head so now I think I have everything that I need I just don't want to use a head that is uh, one that is very rare to get. So I'm going to use a zombie head. Oh, of course, I need two sets of shears, one to craft it, one to use in the machine. And I need two iron axe, one to craft it, one to use in the machine. And I also need another machine framework. So let's just do a couple of these. Oh, not... You know what? I might just do those... I feel like the other one shouldn't be in the pack because it doesn't seem expensive enough in all honesty. Let's wait for a head that we have a lot of. This one. And slice and splice, which I'm going to put right here because I want to have easy access to it. Now I need, what was it that I need for the farming station now? Farming station right here. I need a Z-Logic controller, which is Zombie Head to Solarium Silicon. So, zom oh, Zombie Head right here. Oh, wow, I'm already at 26. I tell you guys, now with the mob farm that I created, I'm going to be getting a lot of resource fast. So, Silicon, two, one, two. Redstone, Redstone. And what was the last thing? The last thing was... Uh, I don't want to search for it. I want to remember it. Solarium. And I have two. One, two. Perfect. So I can turn around. Oh. Whoa. Give me my stuff. What is this? Cobblestone. Okay. I'll put all of this in here. Let's come back in here and just push that in here. And for the farming station, I'm also going to need these pulsating crystal. I'm so happy that Oh, I didn't create that seed yet. Pulsating. No, I did not create that seed. So pulsating iron is cheap enough that I'm going to create what I need. So six and six ender pearl. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to try and find the time in between. Oh. Come on. Perfect, I got it in. So I'm making six, four for the pulsating iron seed, and two for the actual crafting that I want to do. So that's going in there. My Z-Logic controller is ready. Another, oh, that's an Eye of Ender. Should probably put an absorption opera here, just so that these mob drops at least get picked up. So let's come back here. We're looking at the farming station again. two set of these and then pulsating crystal so one 
two of these and then the diamond hole like this and that's where I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to make one of these not sure if I'm supposed to but I can make it like that I'm gonna use it because I need to progress right now so these this thing I'm going to break because if I remember correctly it's a 9x9 nine nine up to 5 block so I can put the farming station right here and I can put this up to 5 up so I'm going to use the power cable first right here and then I'm going to put that uh, don't want to jump I don't want to break anything let me just do this quickly what a I have no idea what happened. I don't know why everything around just broke. That's really kind of weird. What's hurting me? There is something really weird happening around here. That's kind of scary. I hope there isn't some, some kind of invisible mob. Maybe it's just the light? Anyway, so the farming station works in a 7x7. Seven seven. I need some more power cable, so energy conduit. Let's grab those. And as you can see, I've been working a lot harder toward planning what I want to do. I, I was tired of not progressing, so I made sure to prepare what I wanted to do this time and know exactly where I'm going. Ah, oh, one more. The only thing that I haven't started doing in this series that I have to start doing soon is I want to get back to my old self of showing you the material cost for every step which would be part of my new uh, of my season two if, I, if you guys are interested in a season two that's probably where I would go with this where I would actually make sure that first step I need to craft this this and that and how much resource I need to get to that point and so on so perfect now that we have this it's oh I need the hoe I'm gonna put a diamond hoe in here I still have enough diamond and it's expensive but it's worth it because I don't want to have to uh, take care of that all the time let me put it in there oh put it in there and look at this it's starting to oh, output full it's starting to just harvest everything the only problem with this the only problem is that you can only do four different type of seed so I want the coal seed in here and I'm going <laughs> um, let's break everything the reason I want to break everything is that I want to control what's being put where so let's break all of this and perfect so I want energetic alloy I want endurium seed because those are important resource I want gold for boy no nope. Okay, well, let's try that again. I'm going to get rid of everything. I want coal. Don't need solarium right now. Don't need dirt right now. Uh, I want vibrant alloy. Don't need dark steel. Don't really need the blaze essence. I want... Don't need the dark steel. Don't need the glowstone. Don't need the electrical steel. Okay, so what seeds do I have? I want the gold seed for sure. So that that's a no-brainer. I need so much gold in this mod pack. Vibrant alloys right there. Aluminum for sure. And coal. Uh, dark coal. So that's... Not sure that the vibrant is the most important. It's a tough choice. So let's check again. So I am dirt. Tier 1 doesn't work. Energetic. Glowstone, don't need so much. Gold seed, I need it already there. Blaze, I don't care. I think that at this point, maybe the Enderium seed would be better for now. Although, no, I'm going to go with those. Perfect. So now let's go like this. Vibrant alloy, lock. I don't want the energetic alloy, I decided. It was going to be the aluminum and lock, the coal seed and lock, and the gold seed and lock. So that's working, and now, like I said, it's a 7x7. Seven seven. 
So I'm three here, I'm three, so I need more dirt right here, like so. And a whole new line right here. Then I'm gonna have to light the whole thing properly, but that's the beginning of my super good farm. Because don't forget, this thing with this uh, max, uh, this, uh, what's it called? This growth crystal is going to go really fast, really well. Let me grab all of these resources again. And do I have three by there? One, two, three. Do you have three this way? Yeah. So my only problem is actually these, uh, these sugar cane. For the time being, I don't need so much sugar cane. So I'm going to be replacing it with dirt. But we're going to replant the sugar cane somewhere for sure. And this and this. And this is now a full farm. So I told you guys, I wanted to automate the farm. Farm's automated, except for the output. And that's really easy to resolve because I think I have enough Indirium to make the conduits that I need. Let me get rid of all of this. And that's eight conduit. That might even be enough. So I'm going to go like this, like this, and above, it's not going to be enough, no. So Enderium, uh, not Enderium, Conduit, although I'm going to break down, come on, click, Conduit, and these, 27, oh. Oh God, one hit and I almost died. <laughs> These things are really scary. For, for my level of progression, not having the farm that I need, this is a really, I need my diamond armor is what I'm trying to say. I really, really need to get going with my diamond armor. So now I can come back here and set this one to green and extract. So now it's going to grab everything. So the way this works is seeds are going to always come here first. And when there's 16 seed in there, it's going to put the seeds in here, which means they're going to be extracted to my system. Which brings me to my next problem. Because now we have auto processing of things that only needs to be broken down. We have auto processing of resources that need to be broken down and cooked. Let me check. Do I have any gold in here? Yeah. Let me just, since I'm cooking gold right now, might as well throw all of this gold in here. And I hate that there's an Enderman in my house. Oh, boy. Whew. Die. So this is always risky, but I don't want Endermans in my house. So guys, look at this. I've automated my uh, S my seed farm, which is going really well, I think. Yeah, that's the coal. So the coal is going to take a while to fill, but it should fill pretty soon. And we need a lot of coal, coal. so that's always good. And we've automated all of this processing. So the next step of processing is I need the RF tool. And what I need is a tier tier three crafter i think where is it crafter tier three so a tier three is made from a tier two from a tier one which is made from a machine frame Ugh! i completely forgot about the machine frame do i have enough yeah i have enough souls in i'm gonna one two three four and do i have somewhere to cook it i'm gonna need another oh I'm going to need another smelter just to be able to cook these things. So, crafter, tier one. So, I'm going to need six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to need some crafting table, which I mean, needs. I'm going to need some wood. And again, I'm getting to a point where wood is becoming a problem. So, I'm going to resolve where wood is becoming coming a problem so I'm gonna resolve the wood one two three four five six and I'm gonna resolve the wood with seeds again but first let's finish the crafter so machine frame do this tier one crafter tier two crafter tier three crafter now that I have this I'm going to make some space here we 
take this and that. Put the tier 3 crafter here. And again, that's a machine that needs to be connected with power. But wow, look at this. And now I can just come back here. And let's see about essence. So now we have the gold. We have the... What is the other one? We have the coal that's automated. We have the gold that's automated. We have the endurium that's automated. And... Is it the vibrant alloy? Yes, the vibrant alloy that's automated. So that's only four for now. But we're going to be able to make more of these. Then you come to this crafter... And you select the first one and you say, this is going to be a gold recipe. Put this here and say apply. And external means that it comes to this external output. If you say uh, internal, it will come back here. We don't want that. We want external only. Okay. So this recipe is set. Apply. Then the second recipe is going to be... Hello? The second recipe is going to be the coal essence which is yeah only eight like this apply the third recipe is going to be the endurium and i can fit i think eight recipe not quite sure the count i'm going to check it afterward apply and then the next one is vibrant alloy and apply so how many i have four left so perfect. This works for four mob farm. You can act uh, two farming station. So these two are done. So again, I need another conduit right here. And that's where things get a little expensive. I need another extraction port. So extraction, oh, extraction, extraction port. Let's just see if I can craft another one of those. I'm going to need some chest need some hoppers so one two three four five hoppers oh not that five hoppers one two three four five i'm going to need six of these torch or five six i'm going to need two of these repeater and another quartz block and i'm going to need some pistons four pistons if I yeah four pistons one two three four perfect so let's do the input port and now let's do the oh I also need these iron bars it seems now let's do the extraction port now that we have another extraction port I'm gonna put it right there put this one extract on purple I'm gonna put this one to input on purple and extract on green always active so now that's taking these material out. Nope, don't want this. Basically, when I cycle through the input mode, it put things in that I didn't want, but it's just that easy to take them out. And now let's look at, oh. So gold essence, coal essence, vibrant alloy essence, and what was the other one again? Gold, coal, vibrant alloy, and... Huh. Endurium. So, essence. Oh no, there's no endurium. That's kind of weird. I would have expected to get some endurium by now. So, <coughs> that one I'm going to put to whitelist and I'm going to say gold, coal, vibrant. I'm going to throw it all in here. Now, when I look at essence. Uh, wait, what? Oh, always active. So now when I look at essence, see, these are outputting, all coming in here, which are all coming in here, which are now crafting into resource. So what was the last one? Lumium seed. So the last one is essence is lumium. Oh, no, not this. Lumium. So I'm going to come right here, whitelist the lumium, and the lumium is the recipe I did not set. So I set one of the recipe I'm going to use later. It's not a bad thing, it's just not the one that I thought I had set. And apply. Come here, put it in here. Since we're here, the other one that I'm going to be doing is energetic. So I might as well set up energetic because the second I have my second farm, I'm going to be setting the energetic one. Like so. 
apply. Come back here, put it in here. As since. And the next one's going to be the electrical steel. And the next one's going to be the dark steel. And the reason the dark steel is going to be part of my next one is the dark steel is going to be important for my armor. So on this one, like I said, I'm going to put the dark steel. Like so and apply. And on that one, I'm going to put the electrical steel and apply. I'm going to make sure that I extract those two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, I'm missing one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gold, cold, endurium. Oh, I don't have the endurium. I don't have a single piece of endurium essence. Oh. Sorry. That was very unpleasant. I do have Enderium, it's right here. And the only reason I want to do that now is that I want to make sure that when I get it set up that it's already present. So now, automated processing of anything that just needs to be broken down, automated processing of everything that needs to be cooked directly to cooking, and automated processing of all the essence that I'm proper, uh, pro uh, currently producing. Oh wow. <laughs> I'm swimming in resources now. And this farming station, which is also doing amazing. And as you can see, the coal is just going to continue to fill up. So I'm going to need to produce my next farming station. So if I look at this here, now let's look at the ore. Since the new farm has been turned on, look at the quantity of ores that's coming in. And look at the diamond ore. The moment the diamond ore starts breaking down this is going to be good and oh or box or or box look at this these or box when you open them they give you two of some ore so i'm going to have to figure out a way of automatically opening those i'm sure there's some way oh, and look at all of this coal i'm going to have to make this machine faster and have more power but this is a really good start the last thing i want to do oh my god this episode is so long is check yes drop of evil should I let me just show you I probably shouldn't be doing this in this episode but that's why I put the witch water up there because oh boy oh boy oh, don't like you if I break this down this is all dirt use a drop of evil on it and look at that now this is all cursed earth, which means that in here, mobs are going to be spawning much faster and they don't respect the, the same rule. And there's like super mobs in there. I'm going to now be able to... Ma oh, look at this, it's not even emptying fast enough. This is so satisfying. I finally have the setup that I should have had six episodes ago. And if I do a season two, that's what you're going to see. I'm going to have the exact count of where I need to go to get to this step as soon as possible. So you know what? This has been a long episode. We're at 43 minutes and I still need to do some work. What I want to do in my time lapse is craft another one of these uh, growth growth crystal. And uh, No, better than that. I want to make growth crystal which are easy. I want to make a growth crystal tier 3. Because look, it does 10 block up or down, which means I can sandwich it between two farm. Okay, and it's also a water source. So I can put it in here instead of this water source. And all you need for that is the Wither Skeleton Skull, which is why I started getting them from the... I only have eight now, so I can make one tier three. But one tier three, ugh, okay. I should end the episode, but... Let me just... What is going on? I think it's a question of light. I think there's not enough light. But let, let me do the tier 3 right now. Okay? So R. Oh, R. Like this. And let's get, let me get a tier 3. That I'm going to put right here. 
and I can put these seeds back in and this should just grow thing that much faster you can actually see things well now it's night so it's not that convincing and that's another thing I want to do I'd like the farm to be outside so let me just put a fake light source where's my glowstone like this let's craft 16 of these maybe and let's get a chisel and before I forget I also need my talisman why do I want my talisman because as you can see my iron pickaxe is getting damaged and I don't want it to get damaged let's put these in and which one do I like I think I like these a lot so let let me just use the these and I'm gonna put one right on top here one right on top here one right on top here oh and let's go the other way around one right on top here so I think that should be enough light and I think that's really honestly where I should be ending what's the best view that I can get around all of this I think it's going to be th back that way so this way you can see in the background all of my I and look at the farm you can already see pop pop see another one just popped in the middle and it's just going to start producing so much essence that's being transformed into resource immediately so imagine these farm like four or five or six of them producing my gold producing my endearium and all of these resources that are usually hard to cook plus my processing in the back that you can see right there things are just going to start taking a good turn and with the dark steel starting soon in the next farm I'm gonna get a dark steel armor I've just decided I'm skipping the whole idea of doing a diamond armor and I'm just going to go directly to dark steel armor so during my time lapse I'm going to work toward my second or third farm if possible and I'm going to start rearranging my base so that my farms stack up one under the other because since that growth crystal tier 3 can do 10 up or down I'll be able to reach both farm and be able to connect everything I'm also going to need to start producing more power so I might start looking into the mark 3 and I think I might also have another idea for lava which I'm going to investigate and get back to you so guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now!